Hi, Mrs. Cavelli. Ryan Jardine. We've met. Of course. I'm so sad for what has happened. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry. It's my grandfather's funeral. So I feel lost. Oh, that's OK. So you're the grandson. So how are you enjoying Brooklyn so far? I like it a lot. We have much more space. It's great. It's a lot more peaceful than Manhattan. You know, you're going to like this neighborhood. It's become a very bohemian area. Did you draw this? Wow, Jake. It's actually getting good. I can't tell you how happy oh. I am that Jake has a new friend. You have a great kid there, but I guess you know that. The parents are married. They just don't live together. I don't understand. <laughs> Me neither. Your dad ain't good at acting. He's not that successful or anything. Maybe he can give me a couple pointers, because I want to be an actor when I grow up. The genesis of acting is seeing, understanding what makes behavior. I did it again. I did it again. You did it again. You did it again. You did it. You. 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 You did it. You did it. You did it. I didn't do it. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Ryan hasn't made any money in years. That's not my problem. We need the shop to cover its rent. <laughs> Our parents are involved in a business matter. It's getting ugly, so they're taking it out of us. Tony, you need to go home now. One of the hardest things to realize when you're a child is that your parents are people too. You understand that? They care about things. They make mistakes. If they try to do what they think is the right thing to do, does any of what I'm saying make any sense to you? Say something, Jake. Say something. Gee, thanks, Dad. That's a very encouraging story.